Hi, this is Yellow Thirteen Ace bringing you. I think this is the fifth tutorial. Yes, this is the fifth tutorial I am making on how to make my style of paper airplane. Last uh, last tutorial, I've attached these two wings onto the main body of the um, paper plane. I've taped it together here. Make sure it is all ready. So now what we got to do is tape the canards on right here so I'm just gonna put this aligned to where you drew for the card to be like match it up like this and then just tape right over it and the excess tape on the side, you just tape down. And take this down like that. Uh, if there are any issues with taping, just apply tape where you think you need it. So I'm going to attach the other one right now. I have no idea what it wants right here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to attach to this canard, and then we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you um how to make it more realistic, which is basically extra details to the plane. Just line it up here. Hold it so Hold it again, and you have your point. So what you need now is uh, vertical stabilizers, which you should know how to make. You need a double layer, so you just draw out the shape of your vertical stabilizer first. Seasons, then you Pop this to make sure you leave a little area like a straight line down where you can attach, like where you can fold upward. So that it gives it a grip to where you're going to attach it. And so once you have this, what you gotta do is draw an area for the other one, other side of the thing, and just cut the entire thing out. Make sure you only cut on the sides where you marked it. Don't cut on, um, for this plane, don't cut on this line right here. Because that's the line of symmetry and we need to fold over and trace it again. I'm going to show you that. So once you've had every other side cut, you just fold it over like this, then it should be within this bubble that you've drawn before. 
and then you just copy this line or just chase this line and you should have something like this and then you cut the rest of this out scrap piece of paper that you've already had and just trace the whole figure again Should have a shape like this. I don't know if you can see this yet. Like that. And cut that out. So there you have the second vertical stabilizer. Fold it in half. And tape the edges together. What I do is I tape the main edges together and leave the rest open. Because I don't want to waste tape. You have this side taped. Same for this. So you have this. This and this. Now you take this and you want to mark where you want to put the stabilizer. I'm going to put them right about here and here. See that? Where I've drawn these lines. Just mark it down. And then the extra parts you cut. This is the vertical stabilizer. You need to fold from this thing right here all the way across you need to fold that up so that it has something to be taped onto the plane okay so anyways um, this is my design my own design for a plane um, this design this process can work for any plane And it works really well for me, so I think it should work well for you. So basically what you've done now is created the vertical stabilizer. So you need to take a piece of tape and see this part you folded like this. You need to put it on there like this.
this. So you take this on, like so, and then you line it with the part you've drawn here. Tape it on like that. And then you should probably tape the other side too because sometimes it falls off. So you just fold this down. And, and then tape this on. Now it's really nice and good. Now you just gotta tape the other one on. And we're almost done. To make your plane look more realistic, you might want to cut the underside a little. Instead of making it look like a triangle, make it look like a different shape. I know for the SU-37, it's a shape like this, and then it comes down a little like that, and then it goes on. So yeah, that, that can be a good choice for a plane because that makes it really stable in my experience. So this is folded wrong, so you fold it the other way. That way it can be like that. See this one's folded that way. So if this one was folded that way, it would not go. It would be like this, which wouldn't go. So if you want it to be like this, you gotta fold it the other way. Put the tape on here. Put it here. And secure it on the other side with another piece of tape. Okay, so this is basically done. The vertical stabilizers are done. So now we, what we're going to work on is cutting the downside, the underside, sorry. So what you got to do is lie it flat like this and then kind of fold this downwards again. And then you have to draw. Whoops, sorry, this canard isn't attached well. Just need to apply tape when necessary. So you have this. This one's good. Okay, so fold it down like that. And then you basically draw your design for the underside. I'm going to base mine of on my original prototype has an underside like this and it leads to the end like that with a little curve there to make my type of plane you really have to be uh, careful to detail because it it can affect how the plane flies as well as um, its looks So if you cut it out along the line, it should look something like that. You can edit it and fix it if you like before you cut it. I'm just going to see this. Uh, yeah. It's a little less here. Basically, you have it here. And once you've done this, fold it back up so that it's vertical again. And then with your scissors, 
hold your pen like this and carefully start cutting along the line. Like this. Okay, I'm just going to do it out of the camera's sight because it's easier. After you cut this, you need to um, tape it so that the inside paper won't fall out because this is not only two layers but there are multiple layers in between. So I'm just going to show you this one cut. And that's done. So you see this part right here? It's rough and there's paper that might fall out. So you just piece of tape, tape on one side, leave half the half of the tape hanging on, and just turn it on to the other side. Then you keep on cutting on this line. should end up like this then you should tape the parts where it's been cut Tape the parts where you need to tape it. Fold this down like this. Then you have your plane right here. And now we're going to do the last step the canopy. See, on this one, I stapled it right here. So instead of, before you staple on, the one you're making, make the canopy design, which is a bit curved, and then tape it on, or no, put it between the crack here, and then just staple it, and then tape it down. And that's, and that's all there is to it. Uh, you can add your own uh, creativity or designs to it like for example I was going to add air intakes and just make a paper column like a tube and then just make it to shape and then put it on this so once again this is yellow 13 ace showing you how to make my style of paper airplanes uh, this should work for any design out there and uh, hope you have fun Right, and see you next time.